my name is Mary French and I'm the Conservation Officer at the Boston Public Library. Right now I've been working on an eight foot long parchment scroll and this is a family tree. It contains the family history of Julius Caesar and it details all of the emperors of Rome through Constantine. So a lot of people don't know this, but parchment is actually made from animal skin. And as you can imagine, when it came off the animal, it was in the shape of that animal. And then it was stretched and dried. And so when it dries, it takes on that stretched out format. But if it gets humid, then it tends to go back to its original animal shape. When we acquired this scroll, it was extremely cockled. So the surface was very distorted and there were lots of creases and valleys and bumps. And so it was very hard to lay it flat and digitize it accurately. In order to make this parchment flat again, we had to humidify it very gently. And what I used was a humidification membrane. You'd probably know it as Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex is what you'd find in raincoats, and it's very distinctive because it keeps water out, but it allows moisture to flow through in a one-sided direction. So we're able to deliver very fine amounts of controlled moisture to the parchment, and this allows it to relax again. And then once it's relaxed and humidified, we can press it flat. We dry it under weight against felts, and that helps take away the moisture in a very slow and controlled way. I've never worked on a manuscript that was quite so large, and this is really unique. It's not eight uninterrupted feet of parchment. There are four different sections of it, and each of these sections is adhered together. So during the whole humidification and also drying process, I had to make sure that these areas that were adhered together with animal glue didn't come apart because there's text written over them. And so as much as possible, we wanted to keep the original shape of the manuscript as well as the original orientation of all the text. After conservation, the parchment scroll was imaged in our digital lab. I was on hand during this digitization process because the scroll was extremely large, very unwieldy, and needed two people to handle it. And so Baha and I worked together to roll and unroll the scroll and move it across the platform in a way that was really safe. This had to be done on an XY table. This is a really, really large table for digitization and it can move on an XY axis. It also has suction that's capable of keeping something that's slightly cockled a little bit flatter for the purposes of digitization. And this scroll was so large and had so many fine details that it needed to be imaged in multiple sections. And this is done at an extremely high resolution. And then these individual photos are digitally stitched together by Baja after imaging is complete. And so you can have one long continuous image, but with very fine resolution. Now that the scroll has been digitized, I needed to create a special housing for it. And so it's going to be stored on a large archival tube. However, once you roll the parchment on it, I wanted to keep that roll suspended within the box so that the bottom layers of the parchment weren't being crushed under the weight of the rest of the tube. So I had to use our special box cutting machine and create these custom tube supports that will then support the tube while allowing the scroll to be slightly suspended in the air. This will make sure that it's housed in a way that no undue pressure is being applied to it. 